Are you Mrs. Yamaguchi? I am. All right, nice to meet you. I'm Blake from Respiratory. How are you doing today? Oh, it's been, I, I'm having a hard time. Hard time with what? Breathing? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's hard to breathe. Well, hey, Oof. I'm the guy you want to see then, okay? So, uh, I was talking with your doctor, and we're going to try a little uh, inhaled medication called albuterol, okay? Have you ever taken any inhaled medications before or anything like that? I don't think so. <clears throat> so, real easy to do. Hopefully, it's going to give you a little bit of a relief and everything like that. I'll, uh, I'll kind of show you how to do this here in a second. I'm going to do a little assessment and stuff. Um, and I'll kind of tell you a little bit more about that medication once we kind of get underway here. You've been coughing up a lot of stuff or anything like that? It's, or It's hard to. It's hard, hard. to. Mm -hmm. And shortest breath, yeah. kind of at rest here and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Been going on for a few days? Or... Yeah, it started a couple of days ago. Yep, okay. I kind of just felt like I had a little bit of a fever and chills <clears throat> and some stuff in here. It's oh, yeah. really hard. Okay, well, we'll see. This medicine I have for you is going to help open up your airways. We might need to look at doing some other stuff to, if you're really having trouble with all the secretions and stuff like that here, okay? So first things first, I'm going to borrow your wrist. I'm going to check your wristband here. Uh, can you tell me your birthday? 12-21-1941. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to just uh, I'm gonna hang on to that wrist still. Okay, I'm going to check a little heart rate on you here. Oh, things are bounding. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. In my stomach. <laughs> I hope that was stomach. <laughs> if not, I'll call your nurse and I'll come back. They won't okay. give me any food. Okay. All right. Let's take a little listen to those lungs here real quick, okay? All right. All right. Nice big deep breaths. Just a couple on the sides here. All right. Sorry if I get you lean forward. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. But you are having some trouble. What does it sound like? Maybe we can kind of get you fixed up here, okay? Oh, no. All right, you can lean on back there. Is it bad? Uh, you're the best lungs I've heard all day. Oh, great. Uh, Got so, some room for some improvement, though, yeah, okay? Yeah, so tight. Now, I was looking through. It didn't look like you had any sort of history or anything. Um, so I'm not surprised you haven't done this medicine before. We'll see. Hopefully we can get you through this little illness you got going on and, uh, we don't have to do anything, but we're going to kind of, we'll, we'll see how these next few days go. Okay. okay. So once again, what I have for you is albuterol, quick acting little drug. I'm going to have you get down there into your lungs, open up your airway, see if we can get you feeling a little more opened up, a little more comfortable and everything like that. Okay. Only side effect. I'm going to check your heart rate again afterwards. Sometimes if you feel just a little bit jittery or funny afterwards, that's just a common side effect of the medicine. No reason for alarm. Shouldn't last too long or anything. Okay. So this is a brand new inhaler. I definitely did not give this to anybody else prior to coming in and seeing you. Okay. So if we do end up sending you home with one, we'll go over some education again, but I'd like you to know how to kind of use this. So you can see, you got to uncap the mouthpiece right here, All right? On the back, they're just going to tell you how many doses there are. All right, so if you if you get a brand new inhaler, if you leave and go for go to the pharmacy and pick this up, okay, or if you have one and you haven't used it really in a day's time, we need to do what's called priming, okay? So once you get that mouthpiece kind of shook up, or if you had this thing and it's cold outside, also I'd try and kind of hold it in my hand and kind of get it nice and warmed up. You're going to shake it really good for a good 10 seconds, okay? Nice and vigorous. And what we're trying to do is make sure that you're actually getting that medicine coming out of there. There's some other little stuff called a propellant that helps that medicine kind of disperse. Okay, so get it good and shook up. All right. Then what we're trying to do with priming, I'm going to not spray you, okay? And you want to make sure you don't like mace anybody when you're around or anything like that. So I'm going to squeeze this thing. And typically what I do, especially with a brand new one, is all the way up to maybe four puffs. And that's where you're going to see. But we want to see a good solid cloud of medication coming out. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Once you see a good dense cloud of medicine coming out, and it may be less than that four puffs, okay, that means you're good to go and, and take it. We just want to make sure when you start breathing on this thing, they're actually getting medicine down there, all right? 
So <clears throat> I got this shook up and I got it primed. Once again, you're only going to have to do the priming part if it's a brand new one or you haven't used it in a day's time or so. The shaking, you're going to do every single time, okay? How long did I say you got to shake this for? 10 seconds. All right, paying attention. Very good. So did you see how that medicine went shooting out of there all fast? Mm hmm Okay. Hollywood's told you the wrong way of doing medicine your whole life. You've probably seen people seal their lips around this thing and spray it. It ends up getting you in the back of the throat. We want to get that stuff deep down and into your lungs here, okay? So I'm going to bring you this little, give you this little souvenir. Okay, you can still do your inhaler without this little device I'm going to show you, but anytime you can, this is going to give you a lot more medicine down there and into your lungs. It's going to be a lot more effective, okay? So the way this works is it's called a spacer, all right? What you're going to do after you get your inhaler all good and ready to go, you're going to take that little mouthpiece off. You're going to stick it into the back end just like that, okay? Another mouthpiece cap that you got to take off there, okay? It's not going to work real good if you got that mouthpiece cap. Okay. And what this does, it creates a little bit of distance between the end of that inhaler and the back of your throat. It's going to make you get more of that medicine down there into your lungs. And honestly, I think it makes the coordination aspect, it makes it a lot easier to take, okay? It's also got some little things that are kind of built in to make sure you're doing this appropriately. So what you're going to do, I have you down for taking two puffs of this albuterol here right now, okay? We're going to focus just on taking the one puff here first, and I'll give you some instructions. We can get you sitting up nice and tall like you always are. If you're if somebody else is bringing this to you and you're laying back, you need to get sitting upright. It's impossible to take a good deep breath if you're not in a good upright position. <laughs> I'm going to have to have you take your mask off as well here in a second. What you're going to do, kind of set up nice and tall. You're just going to kind of get the old air out, okay? So you're going to exhale. You can do that prior to sealing your lip around the mouthpiece, or you can even blow into this. And it's got, see that little flap right there? That's a little one-way valve. So if, if you get freaked out about the timing and everything, you can actually blow into this and it's not going to mess anything up. I try and tell people if you can, get rid of the old air. We're going to squeeze this inhaler and it's going to shoot that medicine in. And you're going to do that as you're taking a breath in, okay? And with this breath, it needs to be nice and slow. So slow as you can, but nice and deep, okay? <clears throat> if you ended up having uh, some issues with taking that deep breath, that's something I'm going to kind of evaluate you for here and everything like that. But what you're trying to do, think about it. Get the old air out, squeeze the inhaler, fill up the lungs with a nice, big, deep breath of that good medicine. And once you get that medicine down there, I'm going to try and make you do the hardest part, which is probably holding your breath, okay? So what are we doing? I got it all shook up, ready to go here. You're going to blow out the old air, squeeze the inhaler as you're taking a nice, slow, deep breath, deep as you can, and I'm going to have you hold it, okay? And I'm going to act like you're a kid. I'm going to count to 10 at first here, and we'll kind of see how you do. So okay. I'm going to have you pull that down or pull your mask down, okay? And I can squeeze it for you. Sometimes that's the hardest part. It looks like you got pretty arthritic hands there, okay? I find the easiest way, if I put my thumb on the bottom and I put a finger up top and I push the two together. Sometimes people will be trying to do stuff like this and I just find it to work better. Do you want to try and, oh, don't use that finger. Uh, do you want me to squeeze it for you or do you want to squeeze it? Yeah, you, let's say you first. You. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do, so go ahead and I'm going to have you blow out before I have you seal your lips, okay? So blow out the old air, just normal exhalation, seal your lips. All right, nice slow deep breath in now. Hold it. All right, I'm not going to count, but I'm going to kind of coach you on that. Did you hear that little harmonica noise? All right, despite what your nurse might have told you, that uh, so th that whistling noise means you're breathing too quickly, okay? Doesn't mean you're not getting the medicine down there, but you're going to get more of that stuff deposited in your throat, okay? And then keep in mind, we want to hold that down there for a good 10 seconds, letting that medicine kind of disperse and deposit it. You take that fast, deep breath, and then blow it right out. Probably not really getting a whole lot or anything. Okay. You heard that whistle noise, right? Yeah, maybe okay. I should try it with so I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're, we're going to, I, even though you did that kind of inappropriate, we yeah. try and wait a good, you know, oh. 60 seconds in between, um, oh. kind of let you catch your breath here and make sure you're all good and, and ready to go for this next one. Okay? okay. So we'll still count that first one. Not that big of a stickler or anything like that, okay. but ideally you don't want it to whistle. If you hear it whistling in the middle, slow, slow. down, okay. slow and easy, nice, deep breath, get all the medicine down and try and hold that breath as long as you can. Okay. You know, a good 10 seconds is our goal here. So, don't really, it shook up pretty good. I'll give it a little shake here. Actually, I'll let you practice that. Okay. Okay, so remember, what are we going to do here now? Exhale out. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, so your lips. You're trying to squeeze that as you're taking that deep breath. Nice and deep. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, hold it. I don't know why I'm holding my breath, but 
I'm going for a good 10 seconds, okay. And you did a great job. Did you hear that little whistle started and he self-corrected there. Much good. better, yeah. That stuff doesn't taste the greatest, okay? But if it did, everybody be calling and asking for it yeah. here. So what we're gonna do, all right, I'm gonna do a little assessment here in a second. We have you down for taking this every four hours, okay? I also have it down as as needed. I don't know if you might start feeling some benefit here in a few minutes, start feeling a little bit better. You might already start feeling a little bit better, okay? If something comes up and you feel like you need one in between, we do have you down for a PR or as needed though. So all you gotta do is uh, hit your call light, let your nurse know, and we'll come and kind of evaluate you and everything like that, okay? okay. So let me do a little follow-up assessment. I'm gonna check your vitals here. Feel any different from that stuff? Or? Uh, you did yeah. a good job. The second one was really good. Okay. I'm going to have you lean forward. I'm going to take a little bit of back and I'll kind of finish on your front here. Oh, yeah. Huh. Have you ever worked in a silica plant? No. Okay, good. My husband <laughs> right, did. Lean back there. A couple on the front. Couple more on the sides here. Okay, so last little thing here. Oh, hung up on my mask. I want you to take a nice big deep breath for me, deep as you can. Hold it for a second and give me a big strong cough. <coughs> <coughs> I can smell that stuff through your mask. Yeah, that is foul. I smell it uh, really good in my, in my mask. <laughs> That's great. I kind of feel like I need to puke. Okay, ah! I'll, I'll call your nurse here. <laughs> All right, so I'll be back to see you. What time is it? Uh, I'll see you a little bit later this afternoon here and everything. What okay. Time? What I need the time. Uh, yeah, you're one of those. Uh, so I'll try and see. <laughs> I'll try and see you uh, around four o'clock. Okay. Okay, right. and if something happens kind of in between, let us know. Um, anything I can get for you here right now? I think I'm good. All right. Very good. Well, I'll see you a little bit later here. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh.